Hi, I'm Amy Kenyon with Farm Cat Skills. Uh, we're going to be submitting uh, written comments, so thanks for extending the deadline. We appreciate that. Uh, so I'll be very brief tonight. Um, the draft EIS says that the that agriculture is not particularly important to the economy of the watershed, uh, which is just uh, erroneous. Uh, five pages later, it says that uh, tourism and outdoor recreation is very important to the watershed. And while that is growing here in Delaware County, agriculture is significantly uh, represents significantly more jobs and more capital investment and more of the economy. Uh, so we think that uh, the land acquisition program does have an impact on agriculture, and that should be addressed and mitigated in, in the EIS. Uh, specifically, we would be very interested in, and we'd be very interested in the city developing a voluntary program like other large-scale agricultural uh, easement programs that addresses affordability of farmland. Uh, we agree with what Dean said. It just doesn't stand to reason that with this scale of uh, purchases of land, that it's not having an impact on the price and driving that up. Um, there are other programs that uh, affordability, uh, an affordability element could be added to the agricultural easement program. Secondly, um, there could be a process for farmland to remain in private ownership subject to a conservation easement uh, rather than it being purchased by the city. This, this is where the land trusts could come in. Um, we know, we've heard from farmers who have said, we would have liked to have purchased that land that the city bought and now we can't have access to. So we think there's an opportunity to further develop uh, the role of land trusts in keeping land in private ownership and still protecting the water. And we hope to see the city also continue to improve your process of leasing lands for agriculture that has made some major improvements in the past few years and we'd like to see that.